Time to cook up a YouTube video. What's... What's that awful smell? It smells like something's... Something's on fire! Something's burning! has that been on the back burner? Well, I guess now is better than never. Okay, it actually like deep fried it. It's like crusty now. Ooh. Hey there guys, what is up? It's me, Riley, and welcome back to the series that I can pretty much guarantee you all kind of forgot existed for a hot second there. Welcome back to Big Questions, Stupid Answers. I'm not gonna give it any context because you probably have seen the video where I give it context because I made a whole video giving it context. Man, let's just get right into the filler, am I right fellas? <laughs> this has been a very successful series. There are three comments on the video, but only three of the comments are actually questions, so this is going to be a very short video, especially considering my shtick is that I answer it in a very quick manner. Katrina Lynn said, I hope you're feeling better. My question is, would you f show your Doctor Who puzzle? Also, how did you react to the terrible news that Adam West passed? Okay, so context. My good friend Katrina Lynn sent me a Doctor Who pop figure. Which one? The one I'm unboxing in a video that should be up at the exact same time that this video is up. I unboxed that figure and it's really cool and I was saving it until I did the BQSA when she mentioned it to unbox it so it took like three months but the puzzle was really great I have long since done it and torn it apart and put it back in the box and I'll probably bring it out around like Christmas or something uh, here's a picture and if I forgot to take a picture and somehow in post realize I don't have a picture of it that was just me doing an awkward for no reason I'm sorry, past self. I failed you! <laughs> so, I can guarantee you though, I did throw it together and it was a pretty great puzzle. Also, how did you react to the terrible news that Adam West passed? Obviously, it's a very sad thing when an actor dies, but for me, I feel like it's... When someone that prolific passes, I, I just, I gotta hope that people like that feel really accomplished, you know, looking back down on their life when they're done with it. Like, yeah, like, I, I made a difference in the world. I did something bigger than most other people can even dream of doing. So, it's obviously... Computer, please, I'm trying to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. It's obviously sad to see someone like that pass, but, you know, I feel like he made an excellent contribution to this world, and we should appreciate it for what it is. Alright, that's half of them done. JJ Huddleston, my boy John John, commented, Can you give an in-depth analysis of the previously held beliefs surrounding Flogiston and the use of such historical events to discuss the paradigms of science and discovery as a whole? Flogiston. How does burning happen? I don't know. People explored and experimented and wondered until in the 1600s, Johann Becker, he realized oh boy, that things that burn have a substance in them called phlogiston. Now, phlogiston was the substance that allowed that burning to happen. Mm -hmm. The substance being burnt, the thing that was on fire, would release phlogiston and become deflogenated. De that's why it's a deflagenator, because it deflagenates things because it burns them. I get the joke, Valve. I get the joke after all these years. I think that it's pretty great. I think it's a really unique discovery. Uh, I think it's an example of something that like people were like, hmm, I wonder how that do, and then they realize how it do, and they're like, hey, that's pretty good. And, you know, I watched 45 seconds of a two-minute video about it, but, you know, gotta get, gotta love those stupid simple answers. Wow, is this really considered YouTube content. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this really short little video. Wholeheartedly, if you did, I'm glad you did. That's it. No, I'm not gonna say subscribe, I'm not gonna say smash that like button, I'm not gonna say any of that. I'm just gonna say thank you. I'm genuinely surprised that you found any sort of entertainment value out of this. 
stay positive and have an awesome day. <laughs>